Hey guys, Dan here with Sterling Self Defense. Checking out a new build. Let me roll it over. Got the wrong case on this one. Open her up. Alright, bring it a little closer. Alright, the new Ultimate Assassin. Whole new bolt system that I'm not talking about. We use T8.1 mags in this one. Pull her out. I have not tested it yet, so just got it together, got the case together. Now we're gonna test it out, see what kind of numbers it gets. Looks pretty good. SSD smooth bore metal detent barrel. Uh, first strike mock suppressor. We got the John Wick milling with the aluminum compensator with rail and a newer cap. All right, let's load her up. See what kind of numbers we get. Uh, over here, so you can see them. Mag loaded. We got rounds, we got rounds. Nice click. Alright, safety glasses. Still using the lazy chronograph. A lot easier. Alright. Oh, I remembered that time. Follower. Alright, let's see what we got. You guys see? $4.99. Five oh four. Ooh, five sixty. Ho <laughs> ho Ooh, error. Come on. Oh wow. My trap is not looking so good. Alright, here we go. That one was an error. Ooh, five thirty-three. <laughs> five fifty-three. Getting better by the second. 501. Oh, I didn't count them. Did you guys count them? Oh, I hope there's one left. Oh, yeah, there we go. 560. And that, is that all of them? I didn't count again. Yeah, it's going to be loud. Yeah, that was it. One, two, three. Yep, that's it. I'm not going to blow my ears out this time. The new Ultimate Assassin. I don't even know what I'm doing with this yet. I think I'm going to keep this kit for my truck. It is a nice kit. Nice big rolling case with wheels. Good for truck. Good for travel. I don't think they'd let you bring it on. Eh, you might be able to bring it on a plane. Not on the plane, but if you checked it, I'm sure you'd be okay. But a uh, new rule I just found out about. If you're taking your air guns like these with you on a plane, you can actually take two 12 gram CO2s with you, nothing more than that. You can't take HBA unless you take the regulator off. I know it's a pain, but they're worried about explosion hazards on planes. And obviously you can't take it on the plane with you, you have to check it. So, you know, that's another good thing. Most people don't know. You can bring them on a, on a plane as long as, you know, you, your HBA is disconnected if you have HBA. But uh, if you're bringing your sidearm, you don't even really need to bring CO2s or HPA. I would say bring, if you're going to travel and you're going to bring a rifle where you usually have uh, HPA, get yourself a CO2 adapter. You can buy CO2 anywhere in the country. Any Walmart has 88 gram CO2 and 12 gram CO2 you can buy anywhere. You know, dime a dozen. But Walmart's good for the 88 gram. So keeping a dozen, uh, 88 gram uh, adapter, like 12 bucks. Definitely worth it. It's good to have 80 gram lying around just for emergencies. You got a leak, your compressor goes down, anything like that. It's good to have a good emergency kit. Because CO2, you can leave it in 88 gram CO2, leave it in a drawer for six years. When you take it out, it's as good as it was the day they made it. All right, guys, well, that's it. Uh, those are some damn good numbers. I got to calculate them. I'll put them up on the screen, but whoo! 
That is a beast. And not even a long barrel in there. Oh, yeah, what is the barrel? Barrel is a six, six, yeah, six or six and a half inch barrel. It's got the mock suppressor on there. That doesn't have much power. A little bit, a little bit. It's got a heavy bore on it. So, not any much power. It mainly looks pretty cool. But you can take that off, make it a little more compact. And definitely you can carry that. But uh, that new bolt system I got in there. I'm not going to talk about it. I got some other new mods in there, which I can't talk about because you got those freaking guys that, you know, just steal them, you know. Well, whatever. Their cheap crap is never going to hold up. And it's never the same. They don't get the same numbers. All right, guys. I will see you on the next one. Stay safe. Hey, guys. Stand back. I was thinking about, yeah, that last uh, round I just did was a six-inch barrel. Sorry, I forgot to measure beforehand. I measured it afterwards. And to express her off, it is a six-inch SSD metal detent barrel. But I figured, whoa, there's some crazy numbers with a six inch, just a six inch. Let's see what we do with some actual barrel. Oh, Badger wants to come in and watch. And Badger is up. Say hello, Badger. Hello, Badger. He's coming to see. He wants to see what these numbers are. All right. The ultimate assassin with a long barrel. 16 inch. 16 or 14, something like that. All right, see what we get. Pull you in closer as you can see the numbers. Maybe so I don't shoot my chronograph, that would be terrible. Oof. All right, there we go. All right, first shot. Go, we're all aired up. Badger stay. All right. First shot. Oh. Ah, I almost forgot it. I remembered. I knew there was something I was forgetting. 609. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, man. Come on. Is that my last shot? Ah. Hold on. Let me go, let me go put some air in this thing. All right, guys, we were back and got a little air in there. Didn't fill it, but I got enough to play around. All right, the last one was 609. Let me put my glasses. Oh, I put my glasses down somewhere. Oh, sorry, hold on. Where did I put my glasses? I don't know. I had them right here. I filled up air and put them down. Where are they at? Of course, right by the compressor. Where else would they be? Okay. Next shot. Here we go. Oh, you know I was going to forget it at some point. I was doing so good. Six oh nine again. Is that an error? Ah, all right, here we go. Next one. Ooh, 604. And it shattered and went all over the shop. It's getting dangerous. Six oh four. Six oh three. Five ninety five. Five forty six. Oh man, it's killing my trap. Hey, did you guys count? I forgot to count again. 556. Oh, it's loud. I didn't count. But what a beast. The ultimate assassin. And I think what I'm going to do with this kit is do that six inch and also put a long barrel in there. Maybe with a handguard system. It's a big kit. It fits a lot of stuff. So you could swap over from 
regular sidearm to carbine. Get all that extra power. I might just do that. A lot of stuff in that kit. It was a beautiful kit. It's going to be nice in my truck. All right. I'll see you guys on the next one.